The current lending landscape is very good. I pick those words carefully. It's not uh, frothy or ebullient. Uh, I remember days prior to the last crash when uh, lenders were running around trying to get a deal from somebody else by taking one point less or 10 points less on a deal and you'd have 25 people bidding on it. And it, uh, the markets definitely got frothy with really an exuberance of, uh, of capital available. Uh, there's good liquidity, good availability, but it's pretty steady. And the lenders have imposed a discipline um, on borrowers, particularly in new development, where I think, as we've seen it beat the money, uh, there is good uh, capital available, both debt and equity for developments, but it's more cautious. Uh, it definitely isn't uh, uh, throwing money at any project that comes along. We had a, a fascinating discussion at our luncheon today from the chief economist with City National Rockdale. It was the, I think, best explanation I have heard in the current cycle about why we have at least two more years to go uh, before the economy turns another direction. Um, I think that's, uh, that kind of sums up what the prospects are for the industry. There's almost a one-to-one -one correlation between the GDP, the economy of the U.S., and the hotel industry. So continued growth bodes very well. And uh, we don't see any major factors, barring that the black swan that's going to change that. Well, first, it's largely a uh, gathering of old friends and meeting new friends. It's a very casual environment where uh, people kind of let their hair down, uh, talk more candidly than they may at, uh, in other contexts. Uh, share nuggets of knowledge, uh, gain particular insights about opportunities or problems, or uh, they make connections and do deals. It's really uh, a great forum for deal makers. Mm -hmm.